in order to build the metaverse, I think that one, I think we have to realize that it's a convergence of technologies that are all sort of like coming ripe right now. And it's not that if we didn't want to build the metaverse in like in the 90s or in the, in the early 2000s. It's because we didn't have the, the, the proper tools. Every, not, not everything was built, right? It, this is really where Rev should talk, but I would like to identify like a few pieces. One piece is the software piece, right? The game engines. And they, they, you know, they, they, the evolution of game engines shows that we came closer and closer to like rebuilding reality as we, we sit in the real world, but it took a long time, right? So we're gonna very quickly go over this, and, and Rev, is, is, we, we'll be talking about that. And then there's the hardware piece, right? The, the graphic card just did not compute this game in a very realistic way. Again, this is Rev's territory 100%. Uh, then there's the headset, right? As we talked about, if you are going into a metaverse or a, a virtual reality, I think the, the, the headsets are like a very key, key important. And last thing is the, the, the network, the 5G network. Je fais un peu de traduction simultanée. Élément essentiel, une des, des briques euh, essentielles, ce sont les moteurs de jeux vidéo, on voit leur évolution, ils, ils partent de Pong, tout le monde a joué à Pong, comme dirait euh, Sébastien, j'espère, et, et puis ensuite c'est devenu de plus en plus sophistiqué jusqu'à Unreal et, et d'autres évidemment, et on voit bien la progression de la, de la représentation et, et de la visualisation qui devient de plus en plus sophistiquée, c'est ce que nous disait hier euh, Marc Petit, et il y en a d'autres qui le font, et euh, l'autre élément euh, qui est très important c'est euh, les cartes graphiques, euh, et puis euh, le troisième élément c'est le network, c'est la capacité de, de distribution.